Okay. Hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. Uh, as promised, we did a poll the other day and everybody wanted, well, not everybody, quite a few people wanted to see an Asian banquet. Um, so I've put together just a couple of little things just to show you um, and have a go at. All right. So let us see. I'll go to my week and we'll have a look at what we're going to cook today. All right. So I'm going to start with the Chinese five spice. I actually needed that for the hoisin sauce, but that's okay. Um, then I'm going to do the Thai red curry paste. Um, now I've pre-prepared the hoisin sauce, but then we're going to do um, Thai fish cakes, two different types of spring rolls, and then pork with black bean sauce. So hopefully you'll get something out of it. Hopefully you enjoy it. Um, yeah, sit down, have a glass of wine, and we'll see how we go. All right, so Chinese five spice. I'm gonna start with that. So you can make all your own um, spice mixes, like your garam masala and all that sort of stuff. So Chinese five spice. As always, we've got our ingredients here and our preparation. Start cooking. So two tablespoons of Sichuan peppercorns. There we are. Two tablespoons of fennel seeds. There we go. Nine star anise. Three cinnamon sticks. All right, I'm going to snap these. one try not to do and then 15 whole cloves alrighty hi everyone if you want to um, put any comments in the comment box um, young Stephen is <laughs> watching that he'll let me know if I need to if you've got any questions I can answer all right so insert measuring cup into mixing bowl lid and then two minutes speed 10 and away we go So that's part of the beauty of the Thermomix is you can, you can 
do a lot of things from a jar if you want to, but the beauty of the Thermix is you can do all your own stuff from scratch and know what's in it. So your almond to almond meal, your rice to rice flour, make your, all your own spices, that sort of stuff. All right, how good does that look? Cool. So I'm just gonna put it in a bowl for now. week again. So a Thai red curry paste that we're going to eat. Uh, yeah. So when it says a newer version of the recipe is available, it could just mean that they've fixed a spelling mistake. It doesn't mean a whole new version is ready. It just means they've tweaked it a little. Okay. Start cooking. Two tablespoons of coriander seeds. Just put all our ingredients here. So that's the other thing, when you make a paste, so when you make the um, spice, you can just put it in a, in a container. Whereas when you do your paste, uh, what you need to do is I find out what um, my favorite recipes are and then freeze it in batches of 60 grams, 50 grams, whatever it is for the, for the, um, for the actual recipe that I'm gonna need. of coriander seeds. Next, okay, that measuring cup. So the awesome thing about the measuring cup on the TM6 is it locks in. No more having it fly across the room. Which is great. So two minutes, 120 speed one. So it's dry roasting. And now I'll add the rest of the stuff later. Oh, see it going. All right, so then I will, let's have a look at other stuff you can do. So all you can do is actually come out of the recipe while it's going. We can have a look at a couple of things. Uh, let's have a look at the other side. So over here, so the, here's the functions of the, uh, some more functions of the TM6. So we've got scales, dough, turbo, Free clean blend egg boiler that's seriously cool. Put six eggs up to six eggs in, fill it to a litre with water. Decide whether you want um, soft, medium, medium hard, hard boiled, and walk away. Kettle warm up, thicken. Oh, rice cooker. Then we've got fermentation, slow cook, and sous vide. So sous vide is where you have the blade cover on. Put your um, either your veg or your fruit or your meat in a vacuum sealed plastic bag and cook it for a specific temperature for a specific time and get the perfect result. Um, and then slow cook as well. And then we can look over here at cookie dough. Now, no matter what thermomix you have, you can use cookie dough. It's handy for all three versions. Alright, so we've got 27 seconds left. So dry roasting. Um, so another paste, a cup, another cup of paste I do, I do the tenduri paste for your creamy coconut chicken curry, which is very nice. Um, and you can use that tenduri paste as well to go into your uh, masala bread rolls. They're beautiful. Alright, one second. Okay, next allowed to cool slightly. For just a minute. So I'll take the lid off. 
Hmm? Yeah. Hi everyone that's watching. Hello. Okay, set measuring cup. And then, oh, whole nother minute. So with this, it's going to slowly go to speed because the temperature is 110. Until fine powder is achieved. So look. Yeah. Close enough for today. So eight fresh long red chilies de seeded. Um, there we go. I won't tell you if I'm only putting five in, but anyway, that's all right. Um, four centimeters of ginger. Two tablespoons of ground paprika. garlic cloves, done that. Okay, four lime zest and juice. So I zested it earlier today. To get a really good result when you use zest, leave it to dry or actually wrap it in paper towel so it soaks out all the, all the moisture and you actually get a better result, especially when you're using lemon zest. So that's four and the juice. Some I prepared earlier. There we go. Right, no white pits. So you've got to be really careful not to leave a lot of white stuff on the um, zest. So four stalks of fresh lemongrass from a um, community garden, which is pretty cool. Somebody gave it to me. All right. So I'll just scrape off the lid. So let me know if you um, what your favourite Asian dishes are, or if you make your own spices. What do you make for your own pastes? Let me know. All right. Okay. So ten seconds. Speed nine, and it shows me where speed nine is. It says turn speed selected to nine. Side of the bowl. Okay, repeat process until I paste. Alright, I reckon another 10 seconds and we're good to go. You can hear that it's not going to chop anymore. Scrap down the sides. Alright. Oh, one minute. Step four. Okay. As always. Crap everywhere. That's all right. I'll get my 
my sous chef to grab me a white white screen, thank you. measuring cup and then one minute speed four meanwhile follow the next step okay so which is and we can go back I can't remember which oil I need so I go back to recipe detail and I've actually got the detail of what we're doing solid pouring oil so peanut oil or grapeseed oil so I use peanut oil slowly pouring oil onto the mixing bowl lid right so then I go continue back to the recipe. So I'll do that. In fact, better than that, I actually need to. So for one of the first times ever, I'm actually going to use my MC as a measuring cup. I'll use the clean one. So on the MC, you've actually got a 50 ml line and a 100 ml line. So I'm going to pour 100 ml. Hmm? Yeah. I'll fit it all in. Push that out of the way. Okay, so as it goes, I'll pour on the next thing. I need the MC back, please. Right, so I'm going to pour it on the lid. So the actual, on the lid, where the pointy bit is, is where it goes in, because on this MC you've actually got a base around the outside. Right, let's do that then. See how you pour it on the lid, and it drips in. trickling with the new MC and actually when you point the um, pointy side of the MC is where the uh, steam comes out. Alright. Alright, 17 seconds. To a sellable container, put it in the fridge, uses report. Alrighty. So we're going to use this today. Um, so, as I was saying earlier, I was going to use the Chinese five spice that I just made as well, but I actually made the hoisin sauce before we started. Because that was even longer wait. The stuff. Okay. How's that? Alrighty. So then when you're pouring out of your thermomix, hold it with your thumb there. Hold it at the base. Make sure you get There we go. So I'll scrape around. Now what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to do the flip. So whenever you've got things such as uh, bread dough, amazing dip, that sort of stuff, and you really want to get everything off the blades. See how there's some stuff there on the blades? What we do is pop the lid back on, finish. I'm going to dial it straight up to 10 for about a second. So remember again, how it's on the blades. Up to 10. So you can use the uh, the turbo as well, but because the turbo is in a separate section now, 
I just go up to 10. And there we go, it's all flicked off our blades. And then I will hold it here again. And scrape it out. So how I scrape out is I go right up against the side with the with the spatula, 12 to 6, scrape at the front, 12 to 6, scrape at the front, like that. And then I'm going to want to go around close to the blades as well. So I put this part of the spatula right up against the blades and do the same thing, 12 to 6, and then 12 to 6. And you get pretty much everything out of your bowl. So I won't go over extra because we want to be moving on. All right, that's the next dish. I've been known for being super tidy. My sister can attest to that. My husband. That's all right. Okay. All righty. Next dish. So our um, fish cakes are going to want uh, to sit for 30 minutes uh, to cool down. So my week again. Well, actually, if you wanted to look for stuff, let us go to, so Cookie Do. So it's got 60,000 recipes, about 8,500 of them are in English. Um, and you have your app, a website, and the Thermomix itself all have the same uh, screen. So that whenever you do something, um, it will, as soon as you turn your Thermomix on, it'll hook to Wi-Fi, it'll hook to Cookie Do, and whatever you've done with the app or the website, it will up, update straight away. There's always um, most cooked, things to look at. Um, so Chinese New Year, Year of the Ox, uh, latest collections. So there's always something to investigate, have a look and see. So I'm going to type in. Cakes. So just to find things, fish cakes, search. Right, so we've got um, 62 results. So that's fish cakes. Now, every time it actually has the filter, yeah, right there, Bee? Sorry, <laughs> bit a bit noisy. Okay, so we've got the filter. We can do different filters. Times, portions, ratings, what I always do. Every time you use the app, the website, or the Thermomix, it's going to filter to Australia. Just the Australian recipes. I like to be a bit more adventurous than that. So I go English, take off Australia. go so we've got 96 results so we go there so the Thai fish cakes are there and if you have a look down the bottom of the recipe ah, on the app or the website you can actually see what uh, collection or cookbook that each recipes come from alrighty start cooking huh, three fresh kaffir lime leaves it did say dry but that's all right each thing said something different, fresh or dried, but that's okay. Two fresh green chilies, two shallots, halved. Yep, that's two. 
So a teaspoon of palm sugar. So I found that you can have two different things. You can have palm flavored sugar or palm sugar. So I hunted down the, um, the actual palm sugar because I want to see what difference that makes in the cooking. So, insert and see. Oh. All right. Then, five seconds, speed 10. And it shows you where 10 is. down the sides, the spatula, it's all right, here. So don't forget that even though you're cooking and following a recipe, yep, you can actually go back, I'm going to go back one step and chop again, just to show you, and I won't put my face in too much, so I'll start the frying. Um, I'll show you that even though you're following a recipe, you're still in control. I am going to cry. Okay. Right, next. And you didn't have to do it for the full five seconds. You could have stopped it partly through. There we go. That looks good. I shall lean back here this time. Scrape down, tap on the inside. Next, insert measuring cup. Five seconds, speed 10. Oh, I've already done that then. Okay, 400 grams of, so we've got snapper today. Yeah? And I think we've got 500 grams instead of 400, but that's okay. So you can either be a pedantic rule follower of recipes or you can be a little bit chucker in but there are a couple of functions where you can't you've got to be more specific such as when you're making honeycomb and caramels and toffee and stuff all right so 10 seconds speed five Scrape down the sides. Alright, that's pretty good. And the lid as well. Okay, ten grams of fish sauce. So the TM6 actually has its uh, scales in one gram increments rather than five gram increments, which is fantastic. So three tablespoons of our freshly made red curry paste. One medium egg. So I'm just going to crack it in here, make sure it's okay. Yep. Alright, insert measuring cup. Now you can see as well, that we're actually on step 17 of 23. So it tells you where you are as well. Next, so 10 seconds, speed four, and it's already put itself on reverse, so it's just going to mix. So shape two tablespoons of mixture into a round and flatten to about one centimetre thick and then we're going to 
that looks good. Alright, so we'll do the first one. Okay, here's our first one, I'll do two or three and then let my little sous chef take over. Let's do the rest. So if you don't have two Thermix bulb laden lids, that's okay. Um, you can just wash in between the flavour and the colour. Nothing transfers over. You can go from a curry to a dessert just by washing it out. And at the end of the day, pull it apart. There's our three. What we'll do, put it to one put it in a thick place in the fridge and then heat frying pan later. Three minutes till golden. And so we'll do that after. We'll do a little bit of that after. All right. Then I might do, I'll stick that, I'll just wash my hands. That one over. And then I stick them in the fridge. Find a space. Maybe. On top of the beer. Then we're going to do some destroying of the house. Okay. Right. So next thing we're going to do our um, meat spring roll. So my wheat. So this one is char, char gyul, spring rolls. All right, so the ingredients for this is your vermicelli, shiitake mushrooms, shallot, garlic, coriander. So I will grab all those. Get the egg. Cooking. Place a bowl onto the mixing bowl lid. So I've already done that. I have measured in my 50 grams of vermicelli noodles. Set aside. Different bowl. Dried shiitake mushrooms. Already weighed that. Set aside. Okay, so I have got all that. That's all right, we'll just boil it and we'll come back. All right, okay. Right, 
So we'll just crack on. Adapt and overcome. So 30 grams of shallots. And two, close enough. Two garlic cloves. Next. So coriander, leaves and stalks. Five. Two on each pieces. So 100, 100 grams of carrot into pieces, and then we want 118, close enough. Then it wants the uh, mushrooms, so we will just So it wants to sit for two minutes. So with your shiitake, that might not be hot enough. Alright. Okay, but for the mushrooms it is. Okay, so they quickly fluff up. So then what you can do is um, if you're making a dish and you've got dried mushrooms that you're going to use, retain the juices for later on if it's, a, if it's that sort of recipe that you can do. Alright. Okay, so what I'm going to do is squish the liquid out. Pop it in. Speed seven. Oh, just get the tea towel. Alright, I hope everyone's doing alright so far. Pop in and out. Oh, pop in and out as you need. You can always come back and watch it later and fast forward. So speed seven. So 500 grams of pork mince. Earlier, so you can mince your own meat. Don't forget. All you need to do is have chunks of meat about that big. Freeze it for about an hour or so. Then pop it in and chop it. I think it's speed five for a couple of seconds. And you've made your own mince. And of course your own mince is cheaper and it doesn't have as much water in it either. Alright, 497, close enough. A teaspoon of salt, so I've milled my own salt as well. And my own pepper. You don't have to. <laughs> you just buy it. But I'm just telling you things that you can do. So, teaspoon of salt. Quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper. So you can see how I've yeah, milled that. Tablespoon of soy sauce. As I soy, I like the kickerman. Choose whatever you like. Spoon. 
next the reserve drain noodles. I'll do that. So I know the next recipe as well, the vegetarian spring rolls has got vermicelli as well. So all I'm going to do is do the boiling water from one to the next and then add a bit more boiling water to that. So we won't have the same issue. drain through. It's not the best colander I've ever had. It's okay. Let me know if you've got an amazing colander. We had one for about 20 years and then it fell apart so we're certainly looking for another. Okay. Alright, mix with the added spatula. So what you can do, take your MC off, spatula has the rim around it so that you can put it in and it won't hit the blades. So speed 3.5. That's our inside. So it says line two baking trays, that's to put your um, spring rolls on once they're made up. So we'll do that after. Um, oh, doesn't it say to, oh, this one you don't have to leave for that many minutes. That's all right. Okay. So, I'll take this out. Vermicelli got a little bit caught around the bottom there. That's okay. We'll mix it in under there. We'll mix it in as we go along. So with when you've got come around the front here. When you've got pasta, so your spaghetti or your bread and something's stuck around the blades, you just wiggle go around. It normally pops out, except for today, of course. There we go. Get all of that out. I'm just going to pull it. So I'm just going to sit this to the side because I'm going to make up the vegetarian mix as well. And then we can do both at once. brush, we'll do that later. Right. So cancel recipe. Yes, but it will I can get it to come back later. Alright. Oh. People hanging in there. Alright. We might do so we've not gone an hour yet. We've got okay, 50 minutes. Not too bad. Uh, what we might do is we might do the, all right, we'll do the veggie spring roll filling as well. All right, place the serving bowl on the top, the vermicelli noodles, we've already done that. 
Cover the noodles, set to soak for 10 minutes. All right, drain well, cut into pieces, transfer back into the bowl and set aside. Alright, okay. So I'll just drain these. Set aside over there. Okay. Oh, there's the lid. Right, 100 grams of carrot. I'll just get the next lot. Okay. Can you actually hear me over the um, sink? I'm trying to work out sound as well. Alright, so 100 grams of carrot, 115, close enough, 100 grams of cabbage, so all I've done is chop it into chunks, set the measuring cup, alright, so 10 seconds, speed 5, shows me where 5 is. Next, transfer into the bowls with the noodles and set them aside. Alright. That I will. There we go, it's chopped. <laughs> See that? Alright. This is quite different than the cooking classes I used to do. Being able to have a lot more interaction. So put some questions in if you've got any questions. I will try and turn on my Facebook chat. See what we've got. No, nothing. So if you've got any questions, please, please ask. Uh, or if you've watched it later, please ask anyway in the comments. Transfer and set aside. Done that. Okay, five garlic cloves. So I love the recipes where you don't have to uh, clean and dry the mixing bowl as you go along. Five garlic cloves. 20 grams of vegetable oil. We will do. Oh, well, we'll do. So when you're pouring in, pull up before you get to the. When you're pouring in the liquid, always pull up five grams before um, you hit the mark, because the five grams are still going into the bowl as you pull up. Handy hint for young players. All right. So measuring cup. Okay, eight seconds, speed 10. Okay. Right, scrape down the sides. You can see that the spatula is different with the TM6 as well than the TM5. This one's uh, more flexible. I don't know. I still quite like the hard one. But we'll see. Alright. Scrap down the sides. How's that look? That looks good. Top of the inside. Alright. So, one minute. Varoma. Speed one. So you can see the temperature here, once it gets to 37, it'll actually say 37 above the Varoma. And then once it gets over 60 degrees, the green lights will actually turn red. 
to let you know that the bowl is hot at the base here. There we go, 60, turn red. So the temperature won't always get to where it needs, uh, where it says it wants to be. Just trust the machine, it knows what it's doing. You don't ever need to cook extra, but this one has actually gotten to Varoma very quickly because there's not so much stuff in the bowl. Alrighty, sauteing away. Varoma. Okay. So next, two teaspoons of white sugar. Already measured earlier. Two teaspoons of fish sauce. Two. Two teaspoons of soy sauce. enough. All right, measuring cup into the mixing bowl. Next, so five seconds speed three. All righty. Oh, that was quick. All right, now bean sprouts. bean sprouts. So what I did was I got some uh, anoki mushrooms and we're going to use them instead. So we go back. Next 150 grams anoki mushrooms. It's a thing I think from the um, from the 80s and the early 90s where the Chinese restaurants used to put in so many bean sprouts into uh, into their food. All right, a half a teaspoon of salt. That. There we go. Got the noodle mixture. wanted to make the spring rolls ages and ages so this really challenged me to to do it which is good all right measure cup and the phone always rings <laughs> when you're doing stuff so two minutes 100 degrees, it's on reverse, so it's just going to mix instead of chop on speed one. Huh? Yep. Yep. Um, so Stephen's going to start cooking the fish cakes while I continue on so that we can show you how they look. some uh, useful hints and tips so far so as I was saying this one's not going to make too much steam but this pointy side of the new measuring cup actually has the gap I'll show you that bottom of it so you've got a rim and then you've got a gap here which is where the steam comes out so if you've got your thermix under a um, above cupboards 
Um, you can point it so it doesn't actually steam up the cupboard. All right, so going, counting down. Lovely, I'll just wash these spoons. Tidy up a little. Okay. So then what we'll do, I've got my okay, my spring roll. put the wet tea towel over the top. Hopefully it all works out. Next, transfer into simmering basket, set over a bowl to drain and cool for approximately 30 minutes. Sweet Thai chilli for the fish cakes, the sauce. So I was going to make sweet Thai chilli sauce as well, but I thought we're going to run rather long if we do that. All right. So there's our mixture already dripping in. Okay, to drain and cool for 30 minutes. Okay, and then line with the baking paper. So we'll cancel the recipe there because then we can go back and it'll go to where, yep, it'll return to where we we're at. So then we can make our spring rolls. All right, I'll move this over to the side. And then we'll start our main recipe. So we've done a couple of, so we've done fish cakes, a paste, a spice, two fillings for spring rolls, so that's not too bad. And now we're going to make, make a main meal. Alright, so my wheat, because I've already selected all this stuff before. So pork with black bean sauce, start cooking. So place a ceramic glass bowl, I'll go back and I'll show you again um, all our recipe, all our stuff. Now with this one, say you had made the black bean sauce and the marinade before and you just wanted to do the rice and vegetables, you can actually press, you can see how that's selected, you can press on that and it actually jumps straight to that point in the recipe which is pretty cool. Then you don't have to go next, next, next to get there. All right, so start cooking. All right. Right, three ounces. So this is a recipe from America. Which means it's in ounces. But you'll see just how easy it is just to do the recipe direct. No need to uh, convert your ounces into grams. 
So three ounces of Stones Ginger. Uh, from the 80s. Stones Green Ginger Wine. Let me know if you want to um, have the rest of this bottle because I don't think we're going to be using it unless I find some other recipes that, um, that have it. Oh, okay, sorry. Stephen's going to use it uh, in a liquid form. In VB. In VB? The nipper VB. The nipper VB. Nipper VB. No. Oh. A nip of stones. Oh, in a nip beef. of stones in, in beef. beef. Okay, sorry. All right, so 24 ounces of pork loin. So I've chopped my pork loin already. So pop that in. 25 ounces, close enough. And then two tablespoons of our hoisin sauce. Again. All right, so as I said before, I actually pre-made the hoisin sauce. So I'm actually quite proud of that. It looks really good. So two tablespoons of the hoisin. Slowly. One good thing it's only two tablespoons and not five. I'll be here all day. Right, so that's one. Okay, so we use um, hoisin in our rice paper rolls, and it's in lots and lots of other. Recipes. I'll find some more. Next, take a teaspoon of olive oil. I'll just wash this out. Chef. All right, stir to combine and then set aside. So I'll use this spoon. Stir it in. So this is actually quite a quick recipe. Promises me half an hour, but we'll see. bring that in. So Stephen's finished his oh, Thai fish cakes. I'll put it over here. You can actually see better. How good do they look? That's awesome. So Thai fish cakes and then we'll do our spring rolls soon. That's great. Okay. So next, half a fresh chilli. do like I do but it is a lot easier when it's I've got it all prepared. Alright, half to one fresh chili. Seeds removed if preferred. Yes. I'm not much of a chili person. So two garlic cloves. Set measuring cup. Then we're gonna chop it three seconds feet seven. Straight down the sides. Right, 
so my taste tester says that the uh, fish cakes are pretty good and he is a connoisseur of Thai fish cakes. All right, let's crack down the sides in the mixing bowl. I've been very careful with my chilies today since we've been using eight or nine of them because I know I'm going to be the one person that sticks the fingers in their eyes and get um, hurts myself. Right, now, because it's American, they actually do canned black beans, which is, they're actually fermented soybeans. So we got them in a um, vacuum seal packet rather than in a can. So I've already rinsed and separated them out into two groups. Not quite as much as what the can says, but that's all right, we'll just adapt and overcome. So five and a half ounces of drained black beans. So how many is that? Three. That'll do. We'll see how we go. Set the remaining beans aside. I will. So two ounces of soy sauce. So you can see because it's transferred to the Imperial, we just follow along on the screen and we don't need to worry about converting anything. Okay. Close enough. Two ounces. Right, one teaspoon of sesame oil. Got. Or one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine. No, no, it's this meal. Alrighty. Three ounces of water. Teaspoon of brown sugar. Which I measured before. Okay, insert measuring cup. Next, so three minutes, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Speed five. Okay. made before so I'm just using my confidence in the thermomix but it's going to set me straight to um, cook a perfect dish shush it will be perfect the peanut gallery alright so the new uh, basket team 6 has got a lid stops people from overfilling it. I 
can tell you it smells right. So I'm keen if this works out to do, obviously, a beef muffin sauce. Um, I've done lemon chicken before. So I want to do a few fake away things this year as well, show you um, how you can do your own takeaway in your own home. Fake away. Transfer into a large, into a large bowl to keep warm. Smells right. See that? Yeah. All right. The bottom. All right. So I'm putting in a thermo server. So the thermo server keeps your food hot for two hours, or keeps it cool for two hours. And the um, gift with purchase February 2021 in Australia is actually the thermo server and a cookbook as well. mixing bowl. Luckily I have two. Oh. <laughs> okay. I have two but one um <laughs> is too busy eating and not not doing his job. Won't be a moment. Okay, so then we're going to set the simmering basket. We'll just look at these. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good. Oh, sorry. It's just looking at the spring roll sheets that we'll do in a minute. dishes. Destroyed the house. There we go. Right. So, simmering basket. We've actually got a little thing there that actually clips in to there so it doesn't move around. Okay, ten and a half ounces of long grain white rice. Might just do nine ounces because we've got we've got so much rice. Ooh, move that out the way. Rinse rice under cold running water until it runs clear. Okay, so I'll just sit it in the bowl for a second. All right, 32 ounces of water. So I'm guessing that's probably about a litre. Alright, so I've taken the bowl out and filled it with water, but you'll notice when I put it back on, alright, it actually measures where it was, alright, oh, awesome, cool, okay, insert 
Simmery basket with rice. Someone's having a beer with this type of fish cakes. Okay. Uh, measuring cup with the mixing bowl lid. Okay, that'll work. Alright, so five minutes of aroma speed two. That's just to get it up to speed. Right, so at the same time, I'm just going to move this. Alright, so. Can you hear me? No? Can't hear any sound? Alright, so... I'm back on? Okay. Alright, so technology is always Siri. Let's turn that off. So I must have bumped it and it's triggered Siri. And take it away from the microphone. Alright. Okay. Let's give this a bell. Right, so you can see. Alright, I'm pretty sure it said two tablespoons. We'll do. Mix that in a bit more. So this one's the pork one. Right. So it's supposed to look like an envelope. Actually, I will just consult my cookie do on my laptop. No, it's alright, I'm gonna wing it. I'm gonna wing it. Alright. a little bit more because I've eaten my fair share of spring rolls so I know what I'm doing All right. so we're going to fold that over fold that and then that and then roll and then Paste with water. All right. So that's my first one. Ooh. I just have to remember to cover it with the wet tea towel each time I take one off. It's 
so that they don't Okay, so the instructions said to defrost the pastry on spring roll sheets for 30 minutes and then cover with a wet towel until you're ready to use it. Right, see how stretchy it is? Alright, yes, I hear you. So you can change the sound of the tone. You can change um, the volume and you can change the length of time. Oh, can we um, put the thing back on? Paper towel? Uh, the wet towel. Alright, we'll do a second one. And a bit more. And then what I'm going to do, while I'm doing the rest of it, Steve's going to, and he's got the oil going in the fry pan. We're just going to shallow fry them. Right, hang on, no, put them on first. On the side, on the side. And roll. So there's two done so far. We'll hand it over so we can get a go. I'll make some more as, as the other recipe goes on. Right. So place for Omer in position. Go. Reserve pork and marinade into the Baroma dish. going to go down in through the rice as well. Now stones. Alright, so I've left a hole there because you want the steam to be able to come through it around. Alright, I'll just tilt it back up so you're not looking at a Headless person. All right, cool Verona lid. So we don't need the tray right now. Next are eight minutes Verona. Speak two, and I'll make some vegetarian. Uh, spring rolls. Miss out. Alright, bring that back here. Just tip down the thing again. Okay, so whether you've watched all of it, some of it, <laughs> little bits and pieces, I'll tilt it down a little bit more again. I hope you're getting something out of today's session. If you've got requests for other, um, so this is pretty much a cooking class. So if you've got requests for other things that you'd like to see, please let me know um, and I'll do some more. So when I start my, um, I start my team lead, new team leader or returning team leader role on the 1st of March, and then I'll have myself and my couple of consultants. We're going to do some cooking classes as well. So hopefully that'll um, entertain everybody and maybe help uh, everyone with hints and tips. So I'm also planning on doing a basics thing where I make uh, butter, mayonnaise, all that sort of stuff. 
in the Thermix that you might know that you can do but you're not too sure. So especially the butter. Oh, such a good easy thing to do, especially if you buy some cheap cream. Okay, so I'm going to do maybe a little bit less filling. See how we go. Make it a little bit more round. Obviously you get more confident as you go along. Hang on. So, spring rolls. So for someone who's never made spring rolls before, that looks pretty easy. So yeah, I think I would make them a little bit smaller, put a little bit less filling in each time. How good does that look? So we'll make a couple more, another, at least one more vegetarian. Spring roll. I'll bring it towards me again. Not tall enough. Stretch out too far. So yeah, definitely keep the wet tea towel over the top so that it doesn't dry out too much. In between. There To... Oh, did you take a photo of the fish cakes? No, you didn't. Alright. Just some more. <laughs> yeah, we'll make some more and do a picture so people can see them. Hang on. Middle one first. Our two vegetarian spring rolls ready to go in the shallow fryer. Oh, we've got two minutes left on that. Move this out the way. Okay, so we've got a couple more things. Tilt it back up so you can see me. Watching this later on, put some comments in the um, in the comment section, and any questions that you had while you're watching it, let me know, and I'll answer as well. Okay, so if you don't buy this month and you get your thermo, thermo server in February 2021 with your um, 
gift with purchase. Every time you host a uh, cooking experience with me, or uh, host a cooking experience, then you can gain access. So as long as you have two people and yourself, you gain access either to um, discounted host rewards or if somebody buys at your uh, cooking experience, they're free. So thermo service is one of the things uh, that's a host reward. And it's always great. Um, I come in, I teach you some more stuff about Thermomix or I show you if you've never seen one before um, or your friends haven't seen one. I show you a couple of functions of the Thermomix and show you what it's all about. All right, 26 seconds. Okay. So the new cooling down, it used to be eight seconds and now it's 20. Uh, for when it's on Varoma and higher temperatures. The lower temperatures it actually adjusts and it only does the eight seconds still. So it's another safety feature. All right, set the Varoma aside. Stir rice with a spatula. Let's take that over here. Second. Spatula. Stir pork in the Varoma dish to ensure even cooking. Oh uh, yeah, there's quite a bit more cooking time with that to go. Hmm? Oh okay, I'll show them in a sec. Place Varoma dish back in position. Bunch of broccolini, trim the cut into thirds. I don't know about you, but I love broccolini. And then your bamboo shoots. Not such a big fan of that. So just put a couple in. Right, the remaining drained black beans. So I need to show you the okay, secure room lid. So six minutes, speed two. going to show you the vegetarian spring rolls back into the light how good do they look Stephen's actually going to take a photo this time oh and then Jessica's going to taste test. quality control taste test it okay all right so until the pork is cooked, now I've cut the pork quite thick, so I'm actually going to add an extra two minutes on that. Put this straight away. Actually, can I play it in half? Alright, I'm just going to cut the spring roll in half. 
forget how it looks. Okay, well that works better when other people are doing their food styling. Oh, up, up, up. There we go. Oh, okay, sorry, we're starving. We're starving. Sorry. All right. Okay, six minutes to go. What else can I show you with the Thermomix? Oh, oh. hang on, there we go. There's a fork once. I should might see if I can put it on top of here. There you go. That was pretty good, doesn't it? So we've done it. We've done just a shallow fry, you don't need a deep fryer. But what we're going to do later is we're going to test out our air fryer and see if it makes any difference. And our result, alright, just need to... Goodness, I've been going so long my phone's... Tell me it's only got 20% left. Nope, that end. Right, we'll see how many steps we've got left. Shouldn't be too many. Alright. Let's put it down a little. How's that? Looks like a cook. That's alright. Okay, so back to our recipe detail. So simmering basket, eight minutes, broccolini. Okay, bamboo shoots, right, six to eight minutes until the pork is cooked. Combine pork with black bean sauce, vegetables and the black beans. Serve over rice and garnish with green onions and cilantro leaves. So cilantro is obviously your coriander. So yes, we've gone coriander heavy today. So I have, so the green um, onions is your spring onion. And a bit of coriander there. Oh, so three minutes left. And then we'll just double check that the um, that the pork's cooked. How's the the pork spring rolls? Good. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to eating after this. <laughs> That'll be good. So three minutes left. Um, so one of the things, so February 2021, it, when, if you purchase a Thermomix this month, you'll actually go on the draw to win your purchase price back. So not only do you get a Thermo server and a cookbook for free, you also go on the draw to um, win your money back. And that's because Thermomix in Australia is celebrating 20 years uh, of Thermomix in Australia. And then Forberg, these guys, uh, German family-owned company, they're actually celebrating 50 years of Thermomix. Uh, I'll put a picture up later in the um, in the on Facebook of all the different versions of Thermomix. All right, two minutes to go. Two minutes twenty. Right. What else we got going on? Uh, any questions? Yep. Pop them in the thing. Oh, okay. Pork spring rolls are yummy. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Even the puppy dogs. Hang on. Let me just spin around. He's smelling all the good smells as well. Wondering where his is. 
Alright, just a minute to go. Then we'll put our pork into our sauce that we made earlier. And the veggies in. And we'll see how we go. It smells pretty good. So it should turn out alright. So if you want to see uh, maybe an Asian banquet, I know a lot of people were looking at me doing maybe keto. Uh, so I'll see what I can find with keto as well. There's a few people into that at the moment. Alright, minutes go. So don't forget I've prolonged it for an extra two minutes because I cut the pork quite thick. Okay, so it's been quite a haul. I'm assuming most of you <laughs> watch and fast forward through. That's all right. So the sauces. Oh yeah. Just tell me my. There we go. Cooling down for 20 seconds. black bean sauce, vegetables and black bean. Serve over rice. Alright. So there's our veggies. So there's our pork all done. Yeah, not quite. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'll put the veggies in and I'll put the rice in the other aroma. And then we'll just put the pork a couple of minutes. So always remember, use your spatula to take your rice out. Put the lid, tip her in. Nearly there, we're on the home stretch. So, obviously, cut your pork thicker. That's thicker, thinner, thinner than I, than I did. So, I won't do it for six minutes. to put the ones on there. So there's our oh, lift up a bit. Hang on. Put it on there. That's better. You can see it. Put the lid on and we'll finish. Doing that. And then we'll plate up and we're all done. to start with. So I don't know if you go fancy with a uh, cup. We'll just... So we'll set that there. 
And what I might do, still waiting, <laughs> waiting, waiting. <sighs> so, but we've got our coriander and our spring onion as well. What I might do so that you're not waiting forever is I will take a couple of pieces of cooked. down a couple of the cook bits Pop it on. oh hang on actually Try and do a prettier picture later, maybe. It's all done. All right. How's that? There we go. And then I will pretty it up, do a prettier picture, and post it. All right, thank you very much for coming along. I um, hope you got something out of it and let me know. Alrighty, have a good one. Bye.